Last week I filmed a video in our Make It Simple series about propagating and I chopped up this latifolia pot of gold. And I made some claims about how quickly they can root in tree fern fiber. Let's see how they're doing. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gathering Watts YouTube channel. My name is Phil. This is another video in our Make It Simple series. More of a follow-up video to last week's video about propagating. I made some claims in that video about how quickly and easily it is to propagate Hoyas or other aeroids in tree fern fiber. So I want to come back today, one week later, to check on progress of our cuttings from our Latifolia pot of gold. Oops, I showed you that in the beginning, but this is it right here. This is Latifolia Pot of Gold. It gets its name from the uh, yellow streak down the middle, the Aria streak. Uh, really pretty plant. We wanted to cut it up and get some uh, new plants going for our YouTube or for our Gathering Moss shop. So we took six cuttings. We put them in tree fern fiber, actually in our filled dirt mix so that they'll stay in long term. Because I believe in propagating into the medium that you're going to use long term for the plant. So we did that and one week, one week later we're going to check on the status of those cuttings to see how they're doing. First we're going to look back a little bit at the video from last week, show you a few things on how we propagated. Then we will take the time and dig into a couple of the cuttings and see how they're doing. So let's get started. And the way I like to cut is just about a quarter of an inch above the node. So I'm going to make my first cut right here. So we made our first cut. So we've got a nice clean cut here at the end. And what I'm going to do then is just proceed on up this cutting, cutting a quarter of an inch above the last node and making a nice clean cut. That's two. And here's number three. Number four. Number five. And we have number six. And number six has some baby leaves on it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this as one piece. So we've got our cuttings. And once again, we've got six of them. And I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to use for propagating and this is it right here and it's filled with fill dirt so once again a tree fern fiber based product um, no cocoa coir chips in this one just uh, orchid bark um, perlite pumice um, a little bit of fluval stratum uh, some biochar uh, just to make sure that we keep any um, issues away from the soil uh, I'd like to mix in some biochar I have my cup with the, the soil in it, I have my cutting, and here we go. And we're done. So I'll do this a couple times just to make sure you've got it down. Um, I've got my cup, I've got my cutting, and we're done. We've got our cup, we've got our cutting. Can you get any more basic than this? Can you get make it any more easy than this? This is making it simple at the most basic level. I mean, all you've got to do is fill a cup with some soil, get cut your cut your plant. Um, uh, I and I like that I said I cut it a quarter inch above the soil or the the last node, and stick it in the soil. And the only other step there is to it is then I will take my um, my spray bottle or so um, but I will just take this and I've got my cup and I'm just gonna spray this down hopefully you can see that but what I do is I'm gonna fill this three quarters of the way up with water so you're gonna see water okay so that was a little bit of a look back at last week and what we did to uh, 
propagate our latifolia pot of gold. We took six cuttings. Right now we're showing two that seem to be passing the tug test. Um, this one, if I pull on it gently, it will not pull out of the soil mix, the fill dirt. So that one seems to have de developed some roots. And also this one, if I do the tug test, it's not pulling out of the soil mix either. So these two are showing root development. Now that we did six cuttings, so right now the other ones, the other four are not showing root development. They're, uh, they were pulling out of the soil when I tried to do it. So I'm not gonna mess with those. I'm not in any way discouraged because it's only been one week. So, but these guys are showing some root, root development. So normally I really wouldn't mess with them. Um, but in the, the interest of, of journalism, I guess, we're going to pull one of these out of the soil mix today just to see what kind of roots we have developed in just one week's time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Um, it seems to be a little bit more firm in than the, even this one. This one has a little bit of a pull to it. But we're gonna just see what these roots are doing. So let's go into it and see what happens. go. So that one, once again, remember, this is one week. If you can see right here, we have a nice root developed. Probably a good half inch long. So, um, and that's just in one week's time. And this was a bare stem. This was a bare stem when I stuck it into the tree fern fiber mix last week. So there were, there were no roots developed on this at all. Um, there may have been some, uh, some nubs where roots could develop out of, but that's pretty good root development in one week. I'm trying to get a good view of it here. So you can see that right in the middle. One week ago today. And once again, this is in fill dirt, um, which is just a mix of tree fern fiber and some other things that we developed here at Gathering Moss. Um, we really believe in tree fern fiber as a uh, substrate, a soil medium. And we put it in both of our uh, soil mixes. And I really believe in uh, putting my cuttings directly into the soil mix. They're going to stay in long term. So this went right into fill dirt and this will stay in fill dirt until it develops um, stems and more leaves in the future. I said I wasn't going to mess with this one, but since we did okay on the first one, I'm going to go ahead and do this one too because I don't want you to think that I'm pulling some kind of a fast one on you. So. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this one out of the soil too and see what we got going on. Once again, this is just in a week's time. This one, in looking at it, actually has three roots that have de developed. So hopefully you can see this one here and this one here and then underneath this one here. So this one's developed three roots in the course of one week in tree fern fiber. So it just goes to show you that how well this, um, how well tree fern fiber does for root development. It's, it's just amazing stuff. Okay, so this was just a really quick video to show you the progress of our Latifolia pot of gold cuttings. We saw some root development on a couple of the cuttings, which is great, and we're really pleased with how they're doing so far. Um, with them being a, a thicker stemmed, um, tougher stemmed uh, Hoya, uh, you, the root growth can be a little bit slower in my experience, but 
In this case, we did see roots growing on two of the cuttings, which is great. And uh, we're really pleased with the progress so far. We wanted to just show again how we can make it simple. We don't have to start them out rooting in, in water or perlite or sphagnum moss and then transfer them into a soil mix. We can just put it directly into the soil mix of our choice and let them go and let them grow roots on their own. Um, you could even put it in pond. You could put it, I don't know if it would work very well in LECA because LECA tends to dry out quite a bit, but um, you could put it in pond and just keep it moist. Um, I tend to use, once again, our tree fern fiber based products. I really believe that they're great for root growth and root development. So I'm gonna keep using those and we just see really quick root growth in tree fern fiber. So it's in our filter and in our Chunky Max mix and we're just gonna keep using it and hopefully you'll give it a try too over at our uh, Gathering Moss shop, which is www.gatheringmossftw.com. The FTW stands for Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is where we're from. Uh, once again, it's www.gatheringmossftw.com tw.com so go and check those products out and let us know if you uh, give it a try and it works well for you we'd love to hear from you uh, if you like the video today give us a like down below leave a comment if you'd like we'd, we'd love to hear from you and think about subscribing to the channel uh, we're gonna keep doing these make it simple videos we have some really interesting ones coming up on watering techniques and fertilizing so look for those in the coming weeks. So once again, thank you for stopping in and we hope you have a great weekend and we will talk to you again soon. Bye everyone.